My name is Robert Rydzat, the door senior, Blackfeet Nation. Uh, my profession, occupation, or who I am is? Uh, occupation, who I am is I'm a tribal elder. That uh, I do a lot of cultural 101 presentations to the general public, making them aware of Blackfeet history, culture, um, creation, um, the historical part of, of the nation itself. And what are some of the things that you like to do? Um, things I like to do is just exactly what I'm doing, doing the presentations. Um, it, it's always enjoyable being a, a teacher of almost 50 years to where I can take and explain the different aspects of our culture to the general public who's not really aware of, of America still having American Indians and being able to break that and to present that especially in areas like the Yellowstone and Glacier in Montana, which is our original homeland. That makes it very unique for me to continue to do this uh, pretty much on a, on a regular basis. Um, there are times when we have to do um, college presentations for a week at a time, which is all right. Uh, but most time it's on a day or two day uh, presentation and people are, are well aware of being Blackfeet country. Um, how would you describe the political system of the United States of America? I think the political system is kind of in array. I really don't believe in, in parties. I believe in issues. Um, sometimes I'm Republican, sometimes I'm Democrat. But it seems like right now the, the two parties are just based on name uh, and not issues themselves. And... Uh, Sometimes I've got to be more Democrat than I am Republican at times because of the programs that I've always supported are more Democratic supported than the Republican side. So um, probably 60% uh, Democrat, 40% Republican, and then sometimes 100% one way or the other. <laughs> yeah. um, describe your feelings or reactions to the current state of U.S. politics. I, I think that, you know, people have come together. I, I served on the National Impact Aid Committee for school funding, military schools, Indian schools, and many times the educational issue becomes either a Democratic issue or a Republican issue. And to me, it's an American issue where both sides should come together and they should agree on the complexities that we got to address and the funding that needs to be put into an education system that is functional. I think many times there are too many political decisions based on military and, and based on uh, non-educational issues, which uh, uh, to me, uh, we, we need to fix our backyard rather than worry about somebody else's front yard in some other foreign country. But again, politicians are politicians, and I realize that. Okay, this one is where we, you, you finish the sentence. The sentence is, politics in the United States? I, I think it's, um, it, it needs to be be addressed more on, a, on an equal basis like I mentioned earlier. I think the political system has got too one-sided in terms of, of issues that, uh, that I think more people need to make comments on. Uh, many times I was in congressional hearings and I asked them, I said, well, what's the public feeling? And they said, well, we didn't get the general's opinion on that yet. Uh, we're just kind of exploring this. I'm saying, well, in a democracy, especially in an Indian democracy like we have had in our societies, everybody had a word. And from those words, uh, the direction was given, and the leaders were then given that direction and moving forward. And I think it worked until the new system moved in of... Uh, the political world and turmoil that we're in today. Very good. So those are the questions. Now we're going to find just one word. That'll be the title of the piece with your audio on it and of the, and of the sculpture I'm going to make. Mm. Um, so, one word. I had, there's some words that you said. I had, a, um, you had together, uh, equal, but those are words that I kind of caught. Uh, and issues. I think I was for issue. I'm not sure. Maybe you have another one. It's not easy when you just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're boiling down to one. Right, one right, one thing. right. No, it's one word. Um, 
Now, um, I don't remember the gentleman's name over there in Broken Crow Nation, but he gave the name of his his nation in the native tongue, so that could work too. Oh, our, ours is Amskapi uh, Pekani, Southern Pagan. So can you say uh, the word is, and then that? The, the word is Amskapi Pekani, meaning Southern Pagan. Thank you. What's the first letter of that? A. A. Can you say the letter is A? The letter is A. Thank you.